second group of drugs which are required for the treatment of bronchial asthma is your anti-inflammatory drugs is your anti-inflammatory drugs now if you take this anti-inflammatory drugs first of all you see here why is this process of inflammation taking place this process of inflammation is taking place because the IgE antibody if it goes and binds to the inflammatory cells then the inflammatory cells will undergo degranulation which will release the inflammatory mediators so a group of drug which can neutralize the inflammation is anti IgE if IgE itself is neutralized then there is no question that the IgE will go and bind to the inflammatory cells and thereby there will be no degranulation okay so we have a group of drug which is considered as anti IgE now if you take this anti IgE the drug what we have is omalizumab the drug what we have is omalizumab so this is the anti IgE which is useful as an anti inflammatory drug in the treatment of bronchial asthma now what are the cells which are playing an important role in the release of inflammatory mediators it is your mast cells so whenever the mast cells when they undergo degranulation there is release of the inflammatory mediators so what you try to do is you try to give a drug which will stabilize this mast cells okay so for that we have mast cell stabilizers mast cell stabilizers so before that let me give you the sequence of the pathology in the bronchial asthma thereby you can understand these anti-inflammatory drugs comfortably so we have the IgE antibody which is being formed whenever the individual is exposed to the allergen this IgE antibody it will come and bind to the mast cells right it will come and bind to the mast cells and when this IgE antibody is bound to the mast cells mast cells they undergo degranulation so thereby so these mast cells they undergo a process of what is called degranulation so when this mast cells undergo degranulation then the inflammatory mediators are released then the inflammatory mediators are released now these inflammatory mediators they will cause hyperreactivity of the airways right they will cause the hyperreactivity of the airways so this is the basic sequence of events what is making an individual to land up in having difficulty in breathing in patients with the bronchial asthma so we are having anti IgE drugs which will neutralize this IgE when this IgE is neutralized then it, it cannot go and bind to the mast cells thereby there is no hyperreactivity. second group of drugs mast cell stabilizers now only and only when the mast cells undergo degranulation then the mast cell will release the inflammatory mediators these inflammatory mediators will go and bind to the airways causing the hyperreactivity of the airways okay so whenever you give mast cell stabilizers then there is no process of your degranulation now you take the drugs which are required for stabilizing the mast cells they include sodium chromoglycate right they include your sodium chromoglycate now the third group of drugs is the third group of drugs is now there are certain group of drugs which will reduce the production of the inflammatory mediators from the mast cells right there are certain group of drugs which will reduce the production of the inflammatory mediators from this mast cells okay now now we will see what are those group of drugs 
which will decrease the production of the inflammatory mediators okay so the next we have the drugs which will decrease the release of inflammatory mediators right the drugs which will decrease the release of the inflammatory mediators they include corticosteroids right they include your corticosteroids and then we have zilutan right zilutan so these are the drugs which will decrease the release of the inflammatory mediators next now lastly the other group of anti inflammatory drugs what we have is those drugs which will inhibit the action of the mediators all right now these inflammatory mediators they will come and bind to the airways and they will cause hyper reactivity now we have another group of drugs which will inhibit the activity of these inflammatory mediators okay so the next group of drugs is those which will inhibit the activity of the inflammatory mediators right those they will inhibit the activity of inflammatory mediators and those drugs include your zefirucast and the other drug is montelukast so these are the two drugs which will inhibit the action of the inflammatory mediators right zefirucast and as well as montelukast now so this is how we will treat a patient with the bronchial asthma we have bronchodilators which will prevent the bronchoconstriction we have anti inflammatory drugs which will prevent the inflammation in patients with bronchial asthma and thereby the difficulty in breathing can be treated